Thank you very much for staying with us. We are continuing our build up to the BVB Legends Ghana Tour, which will be taking place at Accra. We have a great opportunity to see some great football legends who played for Borussia Dortmund and some who are Ghanaians, others who are Nigerians, a lot of Africans coming through, as well as quite a number of international stars we'll get to see here. In trying to build up to this, we have a wonderful interview. Now the guest is going to spice everything up. A man who I call a proper legend of the club, yes, managed to win the Bundesliga with Borussia Dortmund in 2002. Uh, it was a bit unfortunate in the final in the UEFA Cup, yes, in 2001 when he lost out to Feyenoord, but has done a lot as well for the Black Stars. Played in the World Cup in 2006, and also spent quite some time with the Black Stars in some of the Africa Cup of Nations games that we played. Utwado is joining me for this special interview as we build up. Utwado, how are you doing? Thank you. Thank you very much for this nice introduction. I'm doing fine. Thank you very much. Excellent. So, uh, what, when, when we mention Ghana, what comes to your mind straight away? Oh, it's... it's uh, definitely a home for me. Um, I've been here s so many times. Um, actually, every summer break. I was born in Germany, but uh, we've been here all the time. Uh, and I remember, you know, playing in the streets with my friends in Bubuashi. Ah. And uh, yeah, I love Ghana. <laughs> Bubuashi, that's a hit, man. <laughs> <laughs> good stuff, good stuff. Um, you know, we have to talk a little bit about your life in, in Dortmund. We need to get into it. Um, I was going to start with, you know, you were not expected to score a lot of goals, obviously, yes. Uh, but you managed to get in some wonderful goals. I was seeing if I could take you back to your game against uh, Werder Bremen when you scored the winner, you know, in extra time. Can you remember that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was, it, was, was that goal part of your special goals that you scored? Actually, I don't, like you said, I didn't score too often. And um, you know, I was more on giving assists. Um, I wasn't a good goal shooter. Uh, I was good at dribbling one against one, uh, creating numerical advantage through that and um, then putting others in place. And uh, for me, pff, it's difficult to say, like, this was a particular special goal. There were others which were fine as well, I think. Uh, yeah, but it was, a, it was a nice goal. It was a good feeling because it was, uh, was one of the, I think, maybe the last minute or so. So it was a very nice feeling. What's the nature of that goal? Because at the point your coach was complaining about the the time added on, and then it turned out that, yeah, there was an equalizer and he still had that goal. And I think you had an interview with it. You had an interview on that particular goal. Just oh, sure. I don't remember. You don't I remember don't... that? No. <laughs> <laughs> you don't. Okay, let's stick, let's stick with the career. Let's stick with the career. Let's talk about, I mean, what playing for Dortmund meant for you. Um, yeah, it was, it was a childhood dream for me. Um, I think uh, I kind of fell in love with Dortmund when they won the cup in 1989. Uh, I think I was 14 years old. And um, yeah, for me, it was nice that um, so-called smaller club than, you know, than other clubs won, won this. Um, I don't know why I like the yellow and black. And uh, so I was very, very happy to, to, to join this, uh, this club and to yeah, play there. Even though I had many injuries, I was there six years, and um, yeah, it was um, like a yeah, like a new family to me. And I guess the biggest moment was when you won the Bundesliga with them in two thousand two. Yes, yes, it was a very big moment. Um, this is what you dream of uh, of uh, when you are a child to win to win the Bundesliga, and uh, yeah, finally it came true. And uh, this was really a great moment as a player. Um, and I have to say also, last year when I was assistant coach, we won the German Cup and this was also uh, a great moment. We talk about that German Cup, but when you play for Dortmund and knowing how um, difficult it is to win the, 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 the Bundesliga, when Bayern Munich are always giving you a challenge, how differently does that strike when you get to win it with Dortmund? Yeah, I think um, it's, it's, this club has a different tra tradition than, than Bayern Munich. Um, we have a lot of fans in the whole of Germany, I think. We have a lot of fans in the world. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a well-known club. It's, it's not a high, upper-class uh, club. Um, this club is in, in the middle of uh, the, the western region in, in Germany, where a lot of uh, workers are coming from. And they're, 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 yeah, they're fans of this club. Um, so this club means hard work. It's, it's, it means uh, down to earth. It's not a high society club. And uh, yeah, that's what I like about this club. 
Excellent, excellent. And then the trans the transition from a player, yes, into a coach and getting the opportunity to work with Dortmund. How special was that? Yeah, very special as well. Um, I went uh, after my career. I went back to Hamburg. Um, I coached on the 19 team, and uh, later I had the opportunity to come back to Dortmund. And uh, yeah, was was like felt like coming home again. Um, I knew already a lot of people there because uh, they were my teammates or my former boss was still there, Michel Zorc. And um, yeah, others were, were put in place. Um, um, Lars Ricken is now the head of the academy. Sebastian Kehl will be the sports director from, from next year going on. And the, the same team doctor was there, the physiotherapist was still there and there a lot of workers are still working there. So it felt like coming home and uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy and uh, proud that I can work with this club. Now you've tasted player and coach. <laughs> what are some of the things that you understand better now you're a coach that you're doing as a player? Like yeah, this? you see a lot of things differently, surely. Um, um, yeah, you, you think about so many things. If you're a player, you, you yeah, more think about, surely you think about the team, but you think a lot of times about yourself, about your own performance. Um, about what you can contribute to the to the team, and for the club, um, as a as a player, you uh, as a coach, you always think about how to can you improve, and um, what solution can you give to to the players, um, and what can you train to improve them, um, um, and it's so different. It's it's really different, but um, yeah, it's 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 I think one of the best jobs <laughs> you can have um, because it's like. Having your, yeah, your your hobby yeah. as 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 a working place is, I mean, it's the best what ha can happen to you. So, despite being a player, to be a coach, to be involved in football, to to argue, to 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 um, yeah, speak about football, mm -hmm. to 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 smell the grass every day. So it's it's wonderful. Yeah, I like that smell the grass. It's more of like doing what you love and getting paid for it. Yes, great stuff. Uh, so I needed to ask you this as well because I've, 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 I've looked at the career, it's looked really good. I mean, in terms of where it is, I know that you would have wanted to have played more. But did you get a sense that the Bundesliga was bigger in Africa whilst you were playing, whilst you were playing than compared to now? Pooh, I can't really tell because I haven't <laughs> lived uh, yeah. in Ghana. Yeah. Um, I think it also comes with, with the players. Yeah. Um, uh, and I think when Sami Kufo was playing, when, mm. when I was playing, when Tanko was playing, I think a lot of people were watching maybe more Bundesliga. And, and now it's, I think, definitely should be or must be the, the Premier League. But um, yeah, I'm very, very happy that we are trying to start to, to make advertisement, to make relationships with, with, with Ghana, for example, but also with other countries just to improve the, the image of the Bundesliga and to, yeah, to also show that the Bundesliga is very, very interesting um, and should be interesting for the future time. And, and I hope that uh, we can build strong relationships with, with other countries to promote the Bundesliga much, much better than it's um, done now. The question sent you into mentioning a few of the, the guys you played with, a few of the guys you watched and everything. And it's good that, you know, this wonderful partnership between Shooting Stars and Dortmund is giving us the opportunity to see you, the legends, play again. We just want the players you want to see or you want to play against. I mean, on, on, on the BVB Legends, Ghana Tour, some of, the, some of your friends that you would like to see? Uh, from BVB? Yeah, from BVB. Yeah, I think that there's, there are so many great players. And mm. uh, surely, I think guys like uh, Dede, mm. uh, Amoroso, um, Rosicki, Kola, I mean, that would be great. Yeah. Um, but also other guys like Jürgen Kohler, Reuter, well, well known uh, German national players. Um, I think it would be lovely to see them back on, on, on the mm. grass and, uh, and to meet them again. And uh, we meet occasionally, but um, this will be a special, it's very, very special for me, it's, uh, especially um, a very, very special moment mm. to meet them in Ghana. Yeah. <laughs> but, but how is it going in keeping yourself fit? So, what kind uh, of performance are we to expect there? <laughs> difficult, difficult. <laughs> you know, my knee is giving me yeah, yeah. very, very, very big problems. Yeah. So, um, yeah, maybe for me, 10 minutes will be okay. 15 minutes. <laughs> um, I'm not sure organizers <laughs> are going to allow you to do 10 minutes. <laughs> I'm not sure. 
are going to be a little more than 10 minutes. <laughs> but it'll be good to see you, see you again, you know, on, on the pitch doing something. It'll be good. It'll be really nice to see you do that. So just asking you about, you know, how it, how it feels, you know, now to be handling the national team as it were. Yes, uh, it's surely um, stress, but this is how it is. I think um, you only get opportunities uh, like this in crisis. It's not like uh, when everything is fine and they will call you, can you help us? Um, so this is the, the situation as a coach. And um, um, at the end of the day, it's a privilege to, to, to be here, to sit here, and also to, to help the nation. And I uh, hope that uh, we will qualify for the World Cup. It's important. What are some of your memories in the Africa Cup of Nations? Whew. Africa <laughs> I don't know you're going to look at 2000 yeah. and look at yeah, 2000. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it's always nice to play in, in Ghana. Yeah. Um, um, Can 2000 was, was held in Ghana also, and uh, yeah, it was great. It was great um, playing in front of uh, these spectators, but mm -hmm. um, surely it was also sad when we when we um, were knocked out yeah. and um, yeah, this it was hurting a lot mm -hmm. um, and um, yeah, due to my injuries, I never had the opportunity afterwards yeah. also to play for the Africa Cup. So yeah, it's uh, when I think about the Africa Cup, I think it was a nice and great experience, but mm -hmm. uh, it hurts that uh, we, we got out so soon. Yeah, but when, 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 when you, I mean, back in the day when you wore your, your Ghana jersey and you saw the Nigeria jersey, what, what, how was the feeling like? Yeah, it's, I think it's, it's always a big game. We are rivals uh, in a way, um, so it's, it's, it's special. It's a special game because, um, um, yeah, there's always, you know, arguments about who does this better, who does that better, who does uh, the better jollof or... Whatever, yeah. so um, it's always nice to play against Nigeria, and uh, it's it's a special game, and uh, and these are the games like um, you definitely don't like to lose. Yeah. So which of the jollofs do you do? You, are you okay with? Um, actually, you know, you tasted both, right? Yes. Okay. Yes. So yeah. And I was uh, I was really surprised that the Nigerian jollof was was also good. Oh, also really. good. Okay. But uh, surely, I think, um, but that's maybe because I'm used to it. Okay. Uh, I prefer the Ghanaian. Ghana Jalov, Jalov, yes, yes. Jalov leads the way. Come on, somebody. <laughs> right. And I think the World Cup with the Black Stars was great. Was that the best experience with the Black Stars, the World Cup? Yeah. 2006. Yeah, for me, yeah, sure. We've gone sure. back to, you know, back playing in Germany again. And, yes, you know, the, the, also... the media pan was all about, yeah, Utrad is going back to Germany. Yeah, it was like, special. I mean, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it was crazy summer. I mean, the World Cup has been taking place in so many countries and that time, exactly, it was in Germany and uh, I could play in Germany and to see the fans cheering for, for Ghana. Um, I think, um, yeah, football always builds bridges among cultures, among countries and it was so nice to see Ghanaian uh, uh, people uh, celebrating with German fans uh, who fell in love with the team and yeah, it was nice to see. Great, great, great. So let's talk about the day. You know, it was happening in June, the BVB Legends Ghana Tour. Uh, some of the things that we always love to see, you know, we've got a special BVB Ghana fan club. They do a lot of the jama. I don't know if you enjoy a lot of jama, do you? Yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. uh, how does that compare to what happens in Germany? I mean, there's ambience. Mm. Jama versus... Yeah, German it's ambience. it's it's different, but um, I think it's a, it's a cultural thing. Yeah, cultural yeah, yeah. different, but uh, yeah, at the, at the end, it's... Uh, it's fans who are celebrating the team and who are making yeah positive noise um, for the team and um, yeah it's it's yes, like I said it's, it's just a little bit different but at the end it's all the same. Good, right then. What 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 are we to expect? I know we as organizers are putting in place um, wonderful events that were all coming, but what what are you expecting? What would you say to any fan who you want to convince to come around when the BVB Legends Ghana Tour takes place? Um, I think what you can expect is um, very, very good football players from the past. It's always good to see. Um, and uh, maybe they can't run like before, yeah. but uh, I think the, the technique and uh, the tricks are still there. So I think it will be a celebration day. 
to, to meet these um, ex-professionals live here in Ghana. And knowing that you are big on talent, you've worked a lot with talent, I mean, from the junior team to the senior team, um, how special do you think the partnership with Shooting Stars, the Division 2 club, and Borussia Dortmund is, you know, for the country, for the club, and for everybody around? Um, I think uh, for, for it's, it's a win-win situation for both. Um, shooting Stars, um, they can... Yeah, maybe also learn something on 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 on, on club side, um, but also Dortmund has the possibility to to get closer to the to the Ghanaian market to maybe get a player, to to but also you know share share both of their experience and know how, so it's 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 a win win situation for both and uh, it's like I said I think uh, it's building bridges between the, the two countries between clubs. And, um, yeah, I'm really looking forward for that. Right. Uh, Otwale, thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And we'll be looking forward to seeing you uh, doing your own thing. Uh, the lanky <laughs> Ghanaian, you know, running in the midfield and everything. And you definitely do more than 10 minutes. Get ready for it. <laughs> okay, right. we'll see. Okay.